Hello everyone, Shun Jabril here, Unashamed Believer 390, and you are watching another tutorial. Um, thank you for choosing this tutorial, and I hope that you, at the end of this video, that you learn what you came here to learn. So that's a challenge on my part, and I will try to make this as professional as possible. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not professional. But um, in this video, I'm going to try, like in my last one, I'm going to try and cover four more basic points I believe are essential to help you get started with After Effects. Um, um, these points are going to help you have a better workflow and make your projects look better. So uh, let's get started. First, we're going to open up a new composition. Just to get started with my first point, I'm gonna make a new layer. I'll just type my name in. I'm gonna make a new layer. And so my first point are keyboard shortcuts. Now, instead of you going to like file or edit and always going here to cut or copy or clear or duplicate or all that stuff, here are keyboard shortcuts to help you work faster. So let's say you want to animate the position or rotation or opacity or scale of your layer, but you don't want to be going, you're tired of like going here and dropping down the transform property thing and all that stuff. A key, here are keyboard shortcuts to help you bring up those properties a lot faster. So if you go on your keyboard and you press P, that's going to bring up your position property or S, scale. T for opacity and R for rotation. So those are faster ways for you to bring up those properties without you going to the drop down thing. And let's say you have a keyframe for like the position and a keyframe for the rotation. But you want to see them all at the same time so you can do a better animation with precision. What you can do is if you have your layer clicked, you can press U. And that's going to bring up all those keyframes. So now you see where they all are and you can arrange them how you want. So like if I want the thing to start rotate, rota let me put a keyframe for the position. Yeah, if I have the pos position going up and I want the layer to start rotating when the position is almost the position keyframe is almost at its finish. Um, wow, I don't even know if that made any sense. <laughs> so I was at his end, and I want the rotation to start rotating around that point. Now that I have all the keyframes up, I can do that with precision and see where they all are. And also, if you want to do it like frame by frame, you can um, zoom in here. And now I can see everything going frame by frame by frame and you can also zoom out just to see everything so that's those are good ways to pull up those properties even faster and to duplicate a layer instead of you going to edit duplicate you can go to on your keyboard control D this is for a PC um, if Mac has a alternate to control I, I think it's command I don't know I don't use a Mac but yeah, Control D is to duplicate dupl duplicate the layer. And when you have, if you want to bring up all the transform properties for all your layers or just a couple layers, you can just highlight them by going to. So let's say I want to bring up the transform properties for the top one and the uh, bottom one. If I have Control, hold Control, click on the layers that you want specifically. So control clicking on them and I can press you now and I bring up the properties just for those layers or I can um, or I can let me duplicate this again or I can hold shift click on the top one and then click on the bottom one and it highlights all the layers in between those two um, layers that I click so let me put one more in so you can see it better so if I click on the top one hold shift and then click on the bottom one it highlights all those layers or you can just do control a to highlight every single layer in your project and now if you press you you bring up all the transform properties so now you can animate them better how you want seeing the keyframes with better position 
yeah whoa okay and yep those are good ways to highlight and bring up layers and um more shortcut man more shortcuts um if you have a layer i think i already went over this Control d to duplicate the layer Control x is to delete the layer Control shift d is to split the layer and Control c is to copy and then Control v is to paste and that's pretty good well i'll show you how that's pretty good later on just wait so yeah, those are some pretty good keyboard shortcuts that will help you work faster in After Effects. Now my uh, next point is Motion Blur. Now Motion Blur is very good. It's gonna make your project or your project look very nice, especially when you're doing animation with the uh, transform properties. Um, so if I turn on to turn on your Motion Blur, you wanna find it. You wanna find when you want this to show up and to do that you can go to the toggle switch slash mode here and just click on that and just until this shows up and your motion blur is right over here so if you to enable your motion blur you click in here and what you want to do is you want to make sure you have this enabled also this allows you to see the motion blur happening in your compositions in your composition and in your RAM preview and in, yeah, in your preview in general. I mean, if you don't have this on, it's still gonna motion blur is still gonna be there when you render out the video, but you want to see how it looks like with the motion blur when you're previewing. So always make sure that that is on. So here's what motion blur will do to your projects. If I set a keyframe and do an animation with the position, um, well, we can see that clearly. Let me make it more. Move that in. If you can see, yep, there's blur there, and that blur makes it look like there's really something happening. It makes your project look like there's movement. I mean, look at that. Here's it. Here it is without the motion blur. So as you can see, the blur really adds some uh, good detail to your project. It makes it look so much better, like something is happening. And I use it like a majority of the time when I'm making a video especially typography videos so I get that swishy look you know what I mean so my next point are 3d layers now to turn on a to turn on 3d for a layer for like let me import a picture let's say I imported this picture now every time every time you import something new the 3d layer is not going to be on so to turn on the 3d layer for for your um, the 3d ness layer thing for all your layers you click on this switch right here and now you have an extra value added to your um to your rotation not opacity but scale and position so now what you can do, especially with position, is now you can animate your um your your layer in 3D. So here's because with the because now you can do it, animate it in a Z space. Because without 3D, all you can do is just X and Y. But when you turn on the 3D layer, now you can move your um layer in 3D. But yeah, it makes it, it allows you to do some pretty cool animation in 3D. And um, yeah, just mess around, just mess around there with your layers. Like if I turn the 3D layer here, just move this to the back. Now it's literally behind the picture because it's in the back and it's all in 3D. So yep, that's 3D layers, that's how you turn them on, and that's what they allow you to do, essentially. So my last point are pre-composing. Not are, is pre-composing, wow. So let's say you have a bunch of layers, and you your composition looks like a big hot mess. You don't know where anything is, it's crazy. What you can do is, if you highlight the layers that you want, 
So let's say I want all these pictures. What I can do is Control Shift C, and that's gonna tell me to pre-compose. So what that what's that gonna do is when I press OK, you can name it how you want. Just name it Pick. When I press OK, now all the layers have been pre-composed into this new composition. And you want to make sure you have this on and the 3D on if you're doing like a well it just depends on what project you're doing but I usually turn those on but yeah now if I double click on it all the pictures are in here this new composition so let's say I click on I want to pre-compose all these shoes now they're all pre-composed it's still in the my my um, primary composition but if I double click on it it's in this new composition and just creates a better workflow now everything is organized I know where all the pictures are and when I edit it like let's say I uh, move it in here it's gonna move over there in my uh, primary composition so let's say I wanna just copy a couple just certain layers in this composition I just highlight them the specific ones I want control C go in this composition control V and now they're pasted in there so I'm um, pre-composing really helps you organize your projects it creates a faster workflow and it really makes things less confusing and a lot easier for you to edit with so uh, those are the four new points that I have for you to help you get started with After Effects. Um, thank you for watching this video. I really hope that it helped a lot. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, tutorial requests, please comment below. Rate, subscribe. Thank you very much. And uh, till next time, God bless.